Hello and welcome to a James Bond Poker News Special. With the recent release of the latest Bond film, Casino Royale, which blends action-adventure, sex appeal, and most importantly, poker, we thought we'd treat you to a glimpse of the film, as well as the lowdown on how well Bond plays Texas Hold'em. The James Bond series is part of the longest-running film franchise to date. Casino Royale was the first Bond book written by Ian Fleming and was published over 50 years ago. It sees Bond at the beginning of his career before he gets his license to kill and becomes a double-O agent. Your file shows no kills, Bond. But to become a double O, it takes two. Bond receives his mission after Secret Service Intelligence reveals that Le Chiffre, a known card sharp, is planning to raise money in a high-stakes poker game at Le Casino Royale. To be You're the best player in the service. The Treasury has agreed to stake you in the game. But if you lose, our government will have directly financed terrorism. The film tries to stay as close to Fleming's book as possible, but the producers decided to bring one important factor up to date. The heart of the story, Casino Royale, when it was written by Fleming, involved a Chamanda Fair game, and that was a big stakes game. Today, the big stakes poker game is Texas Hold'em. Uh, it's not unreasonable for 10, 20 million dollar pots to be seen. Central to the storyline, the high stakes poker game between Bond and Le Chiffre wasn't without its problems. 10 people playing Texas Hold'em poker, which is not a, um, you know, an easy game to grasp. Um, it's very, very difficult. And there were three separate games. You have to have all the setups. You have to have everything covered. And uh, it just took up. It took a lot of working out. I'm all in. Well, it's 14 million and 500,000. And it's up to you, Monsieur Bond. Bond will have to go all in to call his bluff. Go. Call. Gentlemen, show down, please. Full house. Kings and aces. We've got chips on the table and we're over $70 million in front of us. And, you know. <laughs> It's, I know it's not real, but it's, it's still, you can generate some excitement very easily about it. Monsieur Le Chiffre? Oops. It's four checks. Monsieur Le Chiffre wins. To ensure the actors came across as having believable poker acumen, Poker Night Live's very own expert, Dr. Tom Sambrook, was called in to show the actors how to play high-stakes poker. We caught up with Dr. Tom to find out how it all went. I started working with Bond people right back in January. I got to, to play poker with pretty much all of the, the cast. I never got to work with Daniel Craig apart from on set because he was a bit busy chucking people down stairwells. So the first time I saw his play, was when he was actually doing it for real. But of the players that uh, I was working with more extensively, I would have to say Miss Mickelson, who plays Le Chiffre, came a long way. He was the one player who I was a bit concerned about losing my check per diems to when playing heads up. I hope our little game isn't causing you to perspire. Bond has um, got cast down evidence to, to prove that his opponent is bluffing, and bluffing big. And uh, in the original script, what Bond does here is he pushes all in, which is of course the wrong thing to do, as I'm sure you know, because if you think your opponent is bluffing and you've got a massive hand, then you want your opponent to go all in. So the correct move there for Bond was to put in a little teaser raise, just enough to make his opponent think that his opponent could push Bond out and then Bond would get all his chips. So we just turned it upside down onto its head so that it made good poker sense instead of being just a shocking bad poker mistake. Despite the furore surrounding the appointment of Craig as 007, the future looks bright for the Bond franchise as the next 007 movie will be released in 2008. I'm therefore determined to find a way of becoming the next Bond girl. Well hey, if they'd picked me for this one, I could have at least helped him with the big poker game. That's all from me, I'll see you next time.